Hey right, folks, how's all doing? Uh, right, I'm going to do some plastering. I'm going to plaster up the hill behind me there and also the, uh, the strip of polystyrene behind the retaining wall um, along the front of the window there. So I thought I would film it um, just to let you see uh, another process that I go through in building this layout. Right, let's get a bucket. So I've just mixed up some plaster here, uh, keeping it fairly wet and gloopy. Um, any sort of plaster will do, really, one coat plaster, finishing plaster, whatever. Just whatever's cheapest, really, because it really doesn't matter. Um, it does tend to dry quite quick, so you need to be, uh, you know, don't hang about when you're doing this. So I'm just plastering up the polystyrene I've stuck to the back of this retaining wall. Um, I mean, you don't have to put plaster on, you could just put your static grass and stuff straight onto the polystyrene, you know, just put a coat of PVA on and whack it on. But I like to put a layer of plaster on that, you know, creates a, a firmer surface and a better texture, I think, for adding any kind of scatter or static grass. You can put it on as thick or as thin as you like. So I'm not too worried about the plaster getting onto the coping stones of the wall there because I plan to have weeds and stuff growing over it anyway so we wouldn't see much of that. But I can always wipe it off. So there we go, that's that plastered, and um, we'll get some weathering done to the wall as well, um, but I'll come back to that. Just do the same to these end pieces. Okay, so I've lifted the hill out from the, the corner of the layout, and so all the polystyrene pieces are glued together. Um, so I can do the initial plastering here, and then put it in position, and we'll finish it off. Uh, so I've mixed up some fresh plaster, and this is a bit thicker this time. So otherwise it will just pour everywhere and I'm just going to whack it on and just spread it kind of roughly at the moment. And then I can use a brush just to spread it out and smooth it off a little. There's no getting round that this is a, a bit of a messy job. What I'm going to do along the bottom here once this is uh, in position on the way out. Um, but once I get this kind of smoothed off like that, I'm going to start to think about where there's going to be rocky outcrops. Um, so just say possibly in here. So we just shape this a bit so when that dries, it can be painted up to look like rock. And we'll do that along the bottom as well so it looks like a you know a bit that's been cut away from the hill. Up here, they want this to be fairly smooth because this will all be grass and trees. But let's see, in there, it's going to be rock. Big dollops of plaster on the top of the hill just to take the flatness away. Just keep going, adding plaster till you've used it up, and you have to go and mix some more. So with the hill back in position on the layout, I'm just adding in the plaster along the bottom. And because this will probably be exposed rock face, we'll just 
shape it a little bit. So once this is all dried off, I'll paint it with brown matte emulsion and then um, anywhere that's going to be exposed rock, I'll paint that first. That'll be just done with the uh, acrylic paints. And then once that's done, we can add grass and bushes and whatever else. So there we go. That's how I make my hills out of polystyrene and plaster. It's quite a quick way to, to build landscapes, I think. And with a thick layer of polystyrene, I can model down the way, as I have done here, as well as modelling up the way. So very shortly, I'm going to be cutting away here and putting a bridge in there. Um, and then we'll start to think about working on this bit. But I want to get all this uh, track here ballasted um, from about there, right round to about there. And then I'll have the basic landscaping of this corner pretty much done. Um, so hopefully that'll be fairly soon and we'll start to see some uh, some people back into the lead. Maybe the workies will, will come back. Okay folks, the next lead update is going to be ballasting. You can see I've been doing a bit here, um, but I've got to do these tracks right around there. And all that in there, so that's going to be fun. So that'll be the next video. Catch us later folks.